Well, we just can't stop talking about those incredible images that have been captured by the James Webb Telescope. That is the most powerful space telescope ever built and deployed. And NASA says these images show the most comprehensive view of the universe we have ever seen. And this is just the beginning. Uh, joining us right now to talk more about this is McKenna Dowd, the program coordinator for UT Arlington's planetarium and an expert in astrophysics. McKenna, thanks for being here with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. All right, so you're uh, an expert in astrophysics, which most of us can't say we are. Uh, so I just want to get your top line reaction uh, to these, th this initial batch of photos that have been released from the Webb telescope. What are your thoughts when you look at them? Because I think the rest of us just sort of stare at the, just the beauty of it. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's breathtaking. It's like you said, this is the largest, most powerful space telescope ever built and sent into space by NASA. And this is game changing for how we are learning about the universe. Okay, so I wanna ask you this, as we take a look at one, a couple of the images you know, next to you here on screen, I've actually heard people because, you know, I think that we got spoiled over the years with Hubble, which took some amazing uh, uh, pictures as well out there and still is. Um, and, and it sent things our way that, you know, lay people had never seen before. But I've heard from experts who are looking at these images from Webb and they're saying, no, 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 these are not like the Hubble images. We're actually able to zoom way in on these and see things that give us lots and lots of questions that we want answered. Is that how you look at these as well? Yes, absolutely. The ability of this telescope to give us uh, this resolution and quality of image we've never seen before allows us to look into the heart of a lot of these objects we're studying and and learn so much more. Ultimately, you know, as we go forward here, we know that different researchers, different scientists uh, are able to use the telescope for different periods of time. Um, you almost wonder, you know, these initial photos that were put out, I mean, obviously all of us paid for this telescope and we wanna see what it can do. It's almost like we're getting the beauty shots uh, right up front just to let people know that, hey, look, the mirrors are good, this thing works. It's not cloudy like we first saw with Hubble and had to go up there and fix it. So things are looking good. Um, are we expecting, are you expecting that as we go forward, it's less about the beauty shots and more about making discoveries that we've never made before? I mean, yeah, I think the important thing is are the wide range of abilities this telescope has. Everything from capture images of these first galaxies ever formed, observe objects in our own solar system from Mars outward, um, learn more about star and planet formation, and examine the atmospheres of planets orbiting other stars than our own. How confident are you that this telescope is going to show us things, when we point it in certain places, that it's going to show us things that we didn't know about, that we've never seen before, that we can't explain, new things that we just can't explain? I, I'm extremely confident. I, I mean, we're already seeing from these images things we haven't seen before. So I'm, I'm extremely confident that we are just, you know, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge with this telescope. All right, so I hate to drag everybody through astronomy class or physics here uh, again, but already this thing is looking out beyond where we've been able to look before. It's essentially looking back in time. Uh, and I know that that can be a, a little bit of a difficult concept for some of us who, who didn't take the advanced classes there, <laughs> but we are seeing, it, it's able to look so far out that it can actually see the light from not long after the universe began, billions of years ago. We're seeing the, the beginnings, the building blocks. Yeah, absolutely. With Hubble, we were able to get uh, closer to toddler aged galaxies. Now we're hoping to see baby, maybe newborn galaxies, some of the first galaxies ever formed. It is fascinating to see what comes next. Uh, and uh, thank you for being with us today. Uh, again, uh, McKenna Dowd, the program coordinator for UT Arlington's planetarium and an expert in astrophysics. Uh, just excited as uh, the rest of us lay people about what we're seeing coming out of this telescope already. It'll be interesting to see what comes. McKenna, thank you. Oh, of course.